Hi everyone, welcome back to another review here at MCA. Um, my name's Luke and we're here with Trig modeling the brand new RST V4.1 airbag kangaroo suit. Um, this is RST's brand new uh, flagship suit for 2020. Um, so let's just get straight into the review. So if we have a look at the RST V4.1 airbag kangaroo suit, this is RST's flagship top of the range suit which is used um, by big names such as Alex Lowe's, um, Ian Hutchinson, all your, all your road racers, anyone in that sort of category. It is a combination of kangaroo and cowhide, so we've got kangaroo down the front and on the legs where you need it the most for perforation and comfort and stretch, and then cowhide in the impact areas. This suit does consist of max zips. Um, and quite a lot of Keprotec uh, st stretch panels where you'd want it behind the legs and underneath the arms. Um, as well as this, the suit is a fully um, AAA rated CE suit um, and also comes equipped with the inner motion airbag system integrated in the suit and sewn in the liner. So then if we start to look at the protection that this suit offers, um, this suit comes with CE level 2 rated shoulders, elbows and hips, which is actually quite highly rated for um, any suit on the market to be honest especially in the hips which is normally level one so that's really nice to see as well as that it's got level one armor in the knees which in my opinion is a little bit low um, but when you've got level two everywhere else it's not too much of a trade-off so that's okay maybe the level one helps with the comfort of the suit um, as well as this there is a nylon triple stitching in the impact areas so for maybe the thighs and um, the arms and your back there's going to be triple stitching as well on the coccyx uh, obviously those are your, your general areas where you're going to you're going to land if you crash obviously in the triple stitching is there to make sure the suit doesn't come apart when you're sliding down the road or on the gravel or grass whatever you're on uh, god forbid aesthetically this suit only comes in one color at the minute uh, which is the black and white option which trig is modeling very nicely for us today uh, it does also come with the race department shoulder and knee sliders as well uh, which you'll see on all the gp suits and your, your tt suits etc um, as well as that they have got the adjustable elbow sliders as well as the knee sliders both come with the little pull tabs which help you to take them on and off quite easily because Every racer will know, or anybody that's used a one-piece suit before will know that the, taking your knee sliders off your Velcro patch is just an absolute pain in the ass. You see some of the GP riders with screwdrivers underneath it, so it's nice to see a little tab there which is dead easy to pull it off with. As well as that, there's a load of perforation on the front, so we've got locks on the chest, basically the whole panel is covered in perforation, as well as the thighs, um, which are definitely your main areas where you want that perforation. As well as that, there's a quite a lot of um, Keprotec stretch panels as well, which lets a lot of air in in the areas you'd want it so underneath the arm, the armpits, uh, the back of the legs and the accordion stretch panels on the ribs even have the perforation on there as well which is a really nice touch. Something that not many brands do. Um, the only two I know at the minute are Alpine Stars and Danies off the top of my head which is really nice to see that they're up there with those sort of brands. As well as that there is also the GP sized hump, um, obviously there for an aerodynamic reason and as well um, offers the secondary function of making it harder for you to roll uh, when you're if you slide down the track which is always good to see it's nice to see that um, a production suit uh, at this price comes with such a nice big hump compared to what you'd normally find on a suit of a, of a similar price like the atom we looked at last week where the hump was probably half the size of what this is and not made of full leather so that's really good to see so if we have a look at the airbag system that this suit holds, it's the Innermotion third party system which you'll find in similar brands like Ixon and Held and Furigan. Uh, it, this is integrated and sewn into the line of the suit which is very similar to what Day and Ease are doing at the minute. Um, as of now, these are the only two brands I know of that are uh, integrating the airbag system into the suit which is really, really good to see that RST can keep up with a brand such as Day and Ease with a retail price of around £900 which is really affordable for an airbag suit um, and even a, a suit of this quality uh, without an airbag system to be honest this uh, the airbag system into the suit also comes with a level 2 back protector which is used to house the canister for the airbag system the computer for the airbag system is held in the hump and um, so there's no sort of um, irritation from inside the suit you it's all out of the way you wouldn't know it's there and the suit is really easily rechargeable um, by yourself 
So anything that's in motion, you can buy the canisters from any of your retailers. Hopefully it was here at MCA and they do retail at 80 pounds. So they're dead easy to recharge. You just open the back of the suit, change out the canister and pop the new one in and you're ready to go. Um, as well as that, there is a little subscription um, for each month of use with the um, airbag suit. So it can vary on depending on what your package is, but it can vary from 12 pounds to 17 pounds, depending on how much uses you have throughout the year. So my impression of the RST 4.1 kangaroo suit. First, first impressions, actually really good. It's a very com comfy suit. The arm, the armor sits exactly where it, it needs to. It, it doesn't, it doesn't roll, roll like round, round much. I, I have owned an RSC suit in the past which didn't fit as well. I think it was the um, the R18 or, or, or something. I, I, I can't exactly remember the model name. But the armor used to roll around on my arms a fair, a fair bit. The knee armor was 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 fine, but it wasn't the best, best fitting. And it was the same size as this. This is a UK 38. Um, so it's nice to see that they've made the suit a bit more fitting, a bit more tight, should we say. Um, I suffer from the usual thing of not filling um, in the biceps, purely, purely because I'm a fairly skinny, skinny dude, and I don't, I don't, I don't tend to fill in suits much. Um, from the ease of put, putting it on sort of standpoint, the calves, they are quite tight. I struggle to get the zip down and they don't exactly have big, big calves, which is bizarre. But then the thighs, they don't actually fit that well on me at all. They actually clump, clump, clump up like actually a con concerningly large amount. So I struggle to comprehend why the calves are tight, but the thighs are very loose on someone like me who hasn't got much mass pretty much anywhere. But the top half fits, fits actually really, really well. Um, it's very, very kind of plush. I think that's from the padding inside the airbag. The hump feels, feels, feels fine, and so does the back protector as well. Uh, the sliders look really, really cool as well. Um, it, it feels and looks like a pretty fat factory suit. Again, the only complaint is the thighs, how they don't fit me that well. That might, that might, that might change from uh, per person to person, but I think I've prob probably not got an RST build. Is all. Um, but yeah, I think over, overall a very, very com comfortable suit and for, for the price you can't really go wrong for an integrated airbag suit, especially considering it's got kangaroo hide along the front. So yeah, that's pretty much my entire, entire opinion. Right, so just one more quick run over of the suit uh, before we go into the outro. This suit retails at £900, uh, is made of 60-40% of kangaroo and uh, cow hide. So we've got kangaroo down the front and then cow hide more or less everywhere else. Uh, there's a bit of kangaroo on the back as well, um, just to make it a little bit more comfortable, a lighter suit, a bit more breathable, and then the cow hide's there for the impact areas where you'd, you'd want to crash, uh, where it's gonna be a bit more um, protective than on the kangaroo areas. Um, as another mention, we've got some aramid panelling um, across the weak points of every one-piece suit, really. Um, tends, you tend to get holes there if you haven't got those little protectors, so it's really nice to see they've chucked those on as well, which is something Alpine Stars really started doing and it's nice to see it's transferred over to RST as well. As well as that, we've got the same um, Aramid material on the inside of the knees, uh, which is really nice to help you grip to the tanks. And if you do end up sliding on the inside of your knees, it's gonna um, stop the abrasion quite well as well. Um, as well as that, we've got really nice accordion stretch paneling on the inside of the ribs and behind the knees as well, which is good to see. So all in all, it should be a really comfy suit for anyone that's wearing it. Um, unlike Trigger, as long as you fill it out, so that should be good. Um, apart from that, it comes in this one colourway and yeah, £900 here at MCA. So there we go, there's the RST V4.1 Kangaroo Airbag System Suit um, here in front of us. Uh, Triggy's wearing a 38 if any of you are wondering um, and yeah, here at MCA we're quite impressed with it. Hopefully you guys are, let us know in the comments what you think to it. Uh, any questions, drop us some questions in there as well or drop us a message on Facebook. Apart from that, hope you have a great day, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Oh,